It will be an event of many firsts this fall when Carnegie Hall's celebration of Chinese culture comes to Southern California. This October, New York's famous hall will collaborate with the Orange County Philharmonic to bring its Ancient Paths Modern Voices Festival to the Segerstrom Center for the Arts in Costa Mesa, California. This marks the first time Carnegie Hall has ever collaborated with an organization outside of New York and the first time they have focused on the culture of a single country. Southern California is a natural location for such a collaboration. And, uh, we have such a rich Chinese culture here that it's, uh, it's fun to do, it's, uh, it's easy to do really. And then, as you can see today, we had a much bigger turnout than we would originally planned because I think it's drawn people in the Chinese media, Chinese you know, cultural media to this project, which is hopefully will draw audiences and, as well. But it was not easy to plan an entire festival on both sides of the country. With only a short time to plan, Dean Corey and Clive Gillinson had to act fast. And, you know, what I wanted to do was engage the major organizations within the city so that we not only look across the spectrum of all sorts of music, but have a real broad cultural context, you know, with all the other arts as well. But then the idea that maybe one could find a partner, you know, in another place, um, you know, perhaps on the West Coast, that we could take our festivals. It all came out of meeting Henry. You know, and Henry's vision for what he's tried to do here, his total belief in the role and the centrality of culture in society. So we just met one evening to talk, not, not to do this, and out of it came this idea. So it was just totally a meeting of minds. I started working on it in December, and we had pretty much already planned. We, we, we start about three years ahead working on the season. Mm -hmm. So we had pretty much finished the 9-10 season, and we were done with it. We were, the, the next step was to start getting uh, subscription brochures and starting to program the tickets, you know, the sales into the computer, getting all ready to sell it. So we had very little time. But despite the challenges, this festival promises an opportunity not only for the Orange County Philharmonic, but also the musicians who have dreamed all their lives to perform for an international audience. Wu Man, world-renowned for her mastery of the pipa, a classical Chinese instrument, was a big part of bringing new talent to this festival. Probably I spent two years, and because uh, uh, I, I came from China, so I knew a lot of the traditional music, and uh, um, um, I had a mind to uh, which area I should go, which area, what kind of music, and especially I bring the Taoist monk band, which Taoist, which is a pretty huge a part of Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. So and and rarely heard outside of China. Uh, this kind of music, so, yeah, I spent a lot of time, yeah. One of the youngest performers is just 10 years old, but has already wowed international audiences with his skill on the piano. Mark Yu and other up-and-coming Chinese musicians will perform alongside well-known pianist Lang Lang in a special program. to capture the imagination of the whole world, there is no better time for these artists to share their talents. The reason we chose China was, well, there were a number of reasons, really. I mean, firstly, of course, looking at the 21st century, China is going to be absolutely central to what happens in the world and the direction of the world in the 21st century, and, it, and will play a central part. But hand in hand with that is the fact that there is the most extraordinary traditional culture, as well as a, a, a really vivid, and dynamic contemporary culture in China as well. And that consists of contemporary culture, but also, as Lang Lang said on the film, vast numbers of kids learning classical music instruments as well. 80 million, he said. I mean, it's quite unbelievable. Henry Segerstrom, founding chairman of the Orange County Performing Arts Center, agrees that the timing couldn't be better. The, the Chinese are, are trying, I think, uh, to reach out. Uh, I, I think that they're uh, that, uh, conservative, uh, and, and that's understandable because they don't want to make mistakes. But uh, I think the United States is very open to the Chinese culture, and uh, this festival will hopefully open relationships uh, for Southern California, for California's Governor Schwarzenegger said, uh, which wouldn't have happened if we didn't have a festival.